jumping back into Diablo 4. So I've been watching something that's kind of been... <laughs> it's not my usual taste in TV. My usual taste is typically... Dr I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it drama. Um, it's things like Lost or Supernatural or Grim or Primeval, something fantasy, not fantasy related, more so not natural. Something not real, if you will. So my usual taste is not typical stuff. Uh, anime is of course a big part of that. I love my anime. I haven't watched any for several months at this point. Well, I say that, that's definitely a lie. I haven't watched anything new for several months. I typically, in my younger days, or whenever I get an anime binge, um, I'll go through like three to four, 12 episode series pretty fast, and then it will lull for a bit. I'm not gonna say I haven't been watching anime because like most other people in the anime community, I've been following um, Jujutsu Kaisen um, season two. It's been amazing. Some people may know that I do know what's going to happen. I have read the manga. I'm all up to date with the manga. I'm not going to spoil the manga. But I'm all up to date with it. So I already know what's going to happen. Yeah, I already know what's going to happen with the manga. But it is insane seeing the anime like... It's so good. It's so good. This is not even the TV thing I want to talk about, by the way. I just, I've kind of get sidetracked. It's so good. Everyone's going insane over the, um, the Nami thing, of course. Which... <sighs> so, I, I, I don't like dudes. Nothing wrong with you if you do. If you're bi or gay or anything like that, or just a lady who likes dudes. That's always an option. Um, so it is a bit difficult for me to see everyone's just insanity with him, but I do understand it. Like, I do understand why people are feeling that way. Yeah, man. Yes, I understand people's feelings towards it. Mei Mei was, of course, what I prefer. And her walk was... it's insane. It, there's so much swing in the hips. She puts emphasis on it. Right down, right down. No, 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 no. No sacrifices, no sacrifices, no sacrifices. No sacrifices! Oh god. I'm not ready yet. Okay. <laughs> Crap, where, where is she? Where is she? Did I kill the did I kill her already? Is that it? Is that her? I don't know. Oh god. Yeah, so I've been loving the Jujutsu Kaisen anime. It's yeah, oh, it's so good. It's such an improvement on the first season. I just in everything. Everything is an improvement. They're adapting um, scenes better. They're adding their own twists, which very welcome. The twists and the um, different things they're adding, still faithful to the manga. They're not changing anything big. They're just adding context to scenes. They're um, ad just adding certain scenes that make everyone happy. Like the Nanami scene, way different in the manga. Um, I can't remember much of what happens with Mei Mei, but I know you definitely can't um, portray that. The swing of those hips in manga, so awesome job. Moving forward. Anyway, on to what I actually wanted to talk about and <laughs> what I've actually been watching besides from JJK. Um, I've been watching Married at First Sight, which is weird for me because it's not something I watch like just based off the name of it it doesn't sound like something I'd watch but I've surprisingly been rather hooked like it, it's become an obsession almost I got 
I'm all up to date with season eight. I have not watched every season. Every new season is basically like a restart point from what I can tell. So you can basically go into any season you want fresh. So I'm all up to date with season eight, which is about halfway through the run, which is 16 episodes. Well, it's currently on 17 episodes, which is about halfway through. They're typically around 30-ish from what I can tell. So now that I'm all caught up, I'm watching the Australian version. I was going to go back watch all the seven seasons of the UK one, but I was recommended season nine of the Australian one, like, really heavily, so I'm watching that first. Wait, what am I doing? You're just a side quest. I don't want side quests. I want to do... Show me who's in charge. A painted deer school ribs and talismans lashed to a thick log. Even the stables receive protection here. Knights. Okay. Talismans, candles, and carvings decorate this central totem. The woody, almost sweet smell of burning pine hangs in the air. Seems commitment to the old ways is strong here. Will bend like grass in the wind when the spirits arrive. Okay. Physical barriers alone will not be enough. Your okay. talismans and dirt scrolling will give the dead greater pause. Talk to me, chieftain. You picked a fine time to visit Braystag, wanderer. I know. The whetstones are singing. Hearts are pounding. Sweet music for a red day. Donan sent me. <laughs> At least you're not another night penitent. At least? It is us who will protect this village with our lives. Let it be. <laughs> <sighs> there is an ominous fog uphill. Mad spirits emerge from it. They'll be here shortly. Are you here to help us ward them off? I seek a demon who passed through. <sighs> so, that's what it was. Ah, good. You know of who well, I see. This day keeps getting better, Speak. doesn't it? Jesus. The demon went uphill to Erida's domain. Uh, of course she but did. Unless you want to join the spirits, I wouldn't go there. It's best you stay with us. I can lead you to Erida. Out of the question. I'll be safe. Donan puts his trust in this traveler. So shall we all. Tell me when you're ready to move. Mind what lurks in the fog, and return as soon as you can. Donan will have my head. Hello, Yorin. She's a legend. One of the druids who fought alongside my father to defeat Astaroth. I see. I was raised on stories of her wisdom and courage. What about a strength? What could she transform into? Tell me, I love these details. The roads are thick with fog, so the fastest route to the hills is east, through the weeping cairns. Can we take the longer route? I kind of want to level up a bit. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm joking. Um, so do I have to go back, or can I go from the side? I think I can go from the side. You look like someone who's seen the world. Hope I can do the same one day. What's holding you back? My father. You see how it is. I need to persuade him to let me leave the bloody keep. I suppose. You do have to break away. Oh god damn, this is really not the quick way round I thought it was gonna be. Um, never mind. I did want the longer path after all. What's up here? Death, apparently. Unlike my previous Necromancer build that I had just a short while ago, this one seems to do best when I'm facing a bunch of smaller enemies. I can kind of run up to them, activate my bone skill, and just kind of hammer them down with bone and blight. Like that. It seems to do really well in those kind of interactions. Which is good to see, but it's less effective against, law, uh, less effective against just one singular enemy. Which is unfortunate. I just passed through town without selling all my crap, didn't I? Yes, I did. Alright, good thing I have to go back down. Let me head over there and get rid of all my stuff so that I have more room. Yorin does not have a health bar, so I trust that means he can't die. Oh, 
Why are you idiots running away? You you have thorns running out the back of you. Use that to your advantage. Charge at me or something, Jesus. I guess maybe it's more of a defensive mechanism more than an attack one. Which uh, makes sense. Doesn't really help when I can just fire at you from a distance, but you're trying your best, I suppose. Sell old junk. Been starting from nothing. Indeed. Thank you. Seeing the map, honestly, I am looking forward to exploring this world. I'm just concerned that because I'm not doing the side quest, I won't get to see most of it in the playthrough. I'll have to do it on my own. Which is something I'm unsure about. Because I do want to show it off in the playthrough. At the same time, like I said before, I'm just I'm not going to do the side stuff. For one thing, Liza P is out. For another thing, Spider-Man 2 is coming out this month. And I'm pretty sure I've already said I'm playing both of those on this channel. So I can't touch either of them until I make a playthrough on them. So, um, I'm not eager to get through this. I'm also just... I want to be more effective at getting through it, if you will. So that's why I'm holding off on side quests. But I'm also trying not to rush, like, too much. Because I don't want to ruin the experience. Granted, I know this game is several months old at this point. But still, I haven't seen anything about it, like, story-wise. So I'm still just exploring the story. Granted, I do think I need to take things a bit slower than I already am. What the hell? Tell me I can't come through here? What? Oh my god, okay. Never mind. Crap, okay, that didn't work. I just need to hold still. I do think I need to slow down a bit more involving the story and actually listen more, because I tend to blank out a lot of what they say during the story moments, which is something I'm really bad at with games just in general. I tend to blank out a bit of the story unless I'm really pulled in. Like, for fans of Fancy 16, I'm really pulled in to the story. So I'm paying more attention there, but with other games, I'm mostly just, okay, cool, story stuff, let me go fight things. I can't think of what that's like specifically. Baldur's Gate 3 I'm enjoying the story of, but I also, I think, massively just prefer just the turn-based combat. Just because I, I love it so much. It's just so much fun. This is fun as well, which is why I want to get to the combat. But that does leave me risk, leave me at the risk of rushing through everything. There's something I don't want to do. Crap, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him! Well, I tried to save you, my dude. Didn't work out well, but I, I tried. So find the entrance. You got it! Look at that stack! It was beautiful. They all withered and crumbled. Ah, oh, so good. I just, I love big damage numbers. Yes. Wait, where are you looking? There's bodies everywhere. Are you talking human bodies specifically? Oh, I think I found the entrance. There should be a path to the east that we need to You guys can fight those idiots, right? Alright. I'm not ready yet. Perfect. Oh, I'm just so strong. It's beautiful. Back to what I was talking about, TV show. Jesus, I got so distracted there. God damn it, this is blocked off. Yeah, so I've been watching Married at First Sight, and it's been intriguing. Like, I'm not... I wouldn't call myself a bad person, and I'm not. But it is... I wouldn't call myself exceptionally great either. Like, I think that was more so better than what I was saying with a bad person. 
the, what I meant is I wouldn't exactly call myself like a saint or anything. Why is the passage blocked? Or like the best partner ever, even though I try to be as good as I can be. Is something you realize? Sealed. There are so many toxic traits like outside of just the dreams. you know the normal the stuff. Song of wind. The howl of. Oh no, they're coming. Hurry. All right. E -a -le. E -a -le. It doesn't have to be like the overly in-your-face toxic stuff that can ruin a relationship. Just the small stuff as well. The chant will open the way. Light, protect us. Granted, granted, I know it's on TV, so there's the possibility of it being fake and not true, which I personally don't want to believe it is. I think it's more entertaining to think it is or just like going as it would more than them having scripts or anything. I think it's more entertaining if it is just what it, what is happening more than just if they had scripts. Which I don't believe they do based on watching it for a while. Yeah, so it's making me realise just how much more I can improve on as myself and four others, I suppose? Well, I say four others. I really am not the best at back caring for people. As far as my partner's concerned, though, I care way more about that than other people, honestly. I, it is insane, the difference. Damn it. You idiot's gonna throw an actual problem at me. Even the elite dude didn't last long. Yeah, so it's making me realize areas I can grow and get better. Although, mostly I just watch it for the drama and the fun. Honestly, it is very entertaining. There's so much drama. And typically I'm not one for drama. It just sounds... It just It's so exhausting. Drama is... But when it's on TV, much less exhausting than when it's like in, uh, in your life. What is that? Oh, zombies. And rapes. Awesome. Perfect. I am really not worried about anything in this cave. I'm about to level up, which means I'm going to get a full heal. This chamber is just how my father described it. Yep. You've never been here. Only for the stories he told. Well, this one's open. What's over here? Oh, this place does not look inviting. Thank you. Yeah, so watching it's been fun. Look forward to it. Look forward to seeing where things go with it. The um, couples and the story and stuff. Well, stories. Story is a bad way to put it. It's mostly just about the couples and their journey. The door is locked with an earthen seal. What was it my father said about this? Wardstones. That's it. If you bring me one from the nearby cairns, I think I can open the way. Alright. Let's go get this other ball thing then. You guys really should not have surrounded me. Crowded areas are where I thrive. I know I was talking about anime earlier in uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. I need to catch up on Zom 100 as well. So I'm all caught up on JJK of course. But I need to catch up on Zom 100 just because it's so intriguing. I do love zombie stories as I've stated before. This one is not as much zombie as I would like from what I've seen. It's more goofy than zombie if you will. But there is horror stuff in there with zombies. Like the episode with the TV and the people trapped in the mall in the department store. 
I also am not in a rush to get back to Zom 100 just because I know it's currently on like a massive indefinite hiatus. Just because the studio doesn't know what it's doing, if you will. Because I don't think anyone knows what the studio is currently doing because I'm pretty sure it's the same studio who is supposed to be making... No, no, that's a different studio. So the studio who's supposed to be making Boruto and the four special Naruto episodes did not release the four special Naruto episodes, nor are they making Boruto at the moment, I don't believe. And I believe they're also supposed to be making Bleach Stars Near Blood War, which I don't know if they're doing still, because I'm pretty sure the season two is over. Gonna drain all of you. Oh crap. There it is. Perfect level 45. Increased damage reduction, nice. Although probably not the best I could have got. I'll take a closer look at the skill later. For now, I'm just focus on killing all of these things. Ooh, runic gourd stone. Perfect. It's gonna give me a quick round. In fact, you go deal with them. I'm gonna look at this skill real quick. So, increases damage reduction by 12%, reduced by 2% for each active minion. So, because I only have one minion, does that mean I only get 2% damage reduction? No, it doesn't seem that. But let me quickly... What about some of the other skills I can get? Every five seconds, no, I don't need Skeletal Priest. I uh, found my Golem, that's always good. Don't want any of those. These are my Shadow skills, which is good. When a corpse is formed from your skills or your minions, fortify for 2% base life. Distant enemies. Skeletal Mages, not really my thing. I'm not cursing any of my enemies, so that's not useful. That could be useful. I do like thorns. Let me add that on, actually. Um, I'm going to refund one of you. Nope. Actually, what is this? Consuming corpses. I don't consume corpses, so... Thorns. I love thorns. Not going to try to, you know, use thorns, of course, but... Having it there is just helpful. Yeah, I have no way of consuming corpses unless I use um, Bone Storm, because Bone Storm consumes them in order to keep it self generated for longer. So, unless I use Bone Storm, I'm not consuming corpses. I do kind of want to switch back to using my minions, though. The damage is nice, but I, I'm kind of missing them. But I'll keep going without them for a while because I do, like I said, like the damage. That did it. Really? Because that stone wall is not moving. Oh, there we go. It's a start, at least. Dude, we're not here to ease the dead. We're finding a demon. Okay, the, the dead can wait. The dead will rest well knowing we got rid of a demon. Demonic markings. Lilith's been here. Something's written on the altar. You know, if this wasn't tainted by blood and guts, I reckon this would actually look pretty beautiful. By stone and root, by tears and pain, we bear this flame that must remain. Dead eyes stained with ash and ember, cursed are we who must remember. Ah, an elegy written by Eretha. This, this is a memorial to all who died fighting Astaroth. The weak perish. All us forgotten. God damn, the spirits are not happy. We we are not your enemy. Oh god. Oh god.
Okay, okay. Hit him. Burn storm, burn storm. I need more essence. Oh crap. I don't like this thing. Hit it, hit it. Whew. She must be bending these heroes to her will. Erida would never stand for it. Unless. Whew. Something has happened to her. We don't know that yet. Okay, that was concerning. They, they, they were very, very strong. I was not expecting that. I do like the key composition. The fact that it slows down the enemies, but goddamn, does it take so long to kill something? Oh god, oh god. Okay, well, I noticed my health a bit too late. I'm not too worried about my equipment because I did. God damn it, not this way. I did repair all of it uh, recently, so it should be pretty high. I wonder if that was why I wasn't doing too well before. Maybe because my equipment was damaged and I was taking more damage. I'm not entirely sure, but all I know is I did repair it. Alright, let's head over here. Fix what I was doing. I actually killed the enemies this time. Yeah, sorry dudes, you're not gonna last too, too long now. I'm not allowing it. God damn. I love the Iron Golem. I love him. I, I love it so much. The dazed ability is just so good. And it matches so well with the, the other things I have considering it applies vulnerable. I do need to... I'm going to work towards getting all my passives, because the passives are really big. Plus I don't need any more like active skills, I don't think. Like I said, there is the reap ability, which would stack with... Crap, 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 crap. It would stack with my decomposition, which would help me get essence. Well, it wouldn't stack, I'd have to use them individually, but I could use both for close and long range. I just, I really don't like the close range abilities. Even though I am, now thinking about it, up close a lot. So it actually would mesh pretty well with me, now thinking about it. Well, with the way I'm fighting. This must be the king of the elders. But it might even mesh better than the what I'm fire. currently using, which is this. Demonic scars upon their grave and hmm. druid runes to rouse the dead. Hold on, let me... I'm using a lot of coins lately to buy back abilities. No... Assign, put you there. Um, Reap instantly kills enemies with low 5% health. Reap forms a corpse under you. The first enemy hit. Nope, I don't need corpses, so this one clearly... These runes oh crap, I meant to try that. Delicate touch. This is Erida's work. Why would you be aligned with the demon? I have seen others fall under Lilith's control. Erida was sworn to keep the dead at peace. What do we do? We'll need to stop her. Uh, right. Solutions are found ahead, not behind, as Father says. Yes, solutions are ahead, because behind leads to literally nothing. Thank you. Ooh, makeshift wand, even though I don't use the wands. I am about to run out of storage, though. It's not good. I think I'm coming to the end of this area, though. Am I coming to the end of this area though? I've not seen a big boss room yet, so... No, that's more hallway. No big boss room. Once I see a big boss room on the map, I'm gonna teleport out. Go sell all my stuff. Never mind, the game just said, no you will not. <laughs> and such, yeah, this was supposed to be a passageway just over here anyway. Which makes sense. 
Okay, well. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely. <laughs> Jesus. So, I am actually going to leave things there. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. I'll see you all later and goodbye.